Do followers equal fame? Well, today we're eating at restaurants with the most followers for 24 hours. This restaurant behind me has almost 200,000 followers. Does that mean their food's any good? Or do they just take really good pictures? Let's find out, come on. It's colder than a brick right now, you guys. Let's see this place, wow. Hello. Hey there, are you one of the five daughters? Oh, <laughs> all right, well, let's see what we want. What makes you guys so famous? Oh wow. So we have everything over here with the pink Okay, amazing. So then let's just go through this right now. What is your like top three donuts? That's a better question. Right here. These three. Yeah, are these, these are gonna be best sellers kind of year round. Okay. Let's get like a you got like a half dozen box and let's get some of your recommendations. You I will let you choose because they all look delicious. The pressure's on. I do want to try this one sugar cookie though. Okay. No, yeah, no, no allergies. No allergies except for cats. So as long as you don't put any cats in there, we're good. Well, <laughs> the maple glaze is going to be another favorite, but we have this with bacon. Yeah, how is that? It's really good. So uh, okay. It's the, these are the exact same. This just has the bacon on top, um, and then it's got a little buttercream inside. Ooh. What are we thinking? Bacon, no bacon? Bacon, why not? All right, why not? Let's get a bacon one. A gingerbread latte or, or a spiced honey? What are you thinking? Cheesecake is always good. Are those filled? So none of those will be filled. Okay. You, okay. you know what? Let's do the, uh, he, he wants the spiced honey cheesecake. So let's do that one. I got the, the sugar cookie for me. What the? And then there's all these things too, cinnamon. So this one's gonna be just like sweet and salty and this one's gonna have an orange plate. Which one's better? Well, we got a lot of sweetness from all these donuts, right? Yeah. So maybe, let's try this Quinn. Yeah. Salty and sweet. Great. These donuts absolutely look incredible. They're known here for 100 layers, so I'm excited to try it. Let's go, we're gonna go with the classic, the purest, and we're gonna go with a- Vanilla cream. And a vanilla cream. So hopefully we don't make a huge mess. This one is covered in powdered sugar. And they're light. They're light they're for 100 layers, I'll so. I don't make a mess. Let's take a bite. Oh my god, that's a fire donut. Mm. It's got this delicious vanilla cream on the top, which is absolutely to die for. Compliments the flakiness and the airiness of this donut to begin with. And mine is pretty much just like real, mm. real basic, but the glaze on this- Isn't incredible? It's so thick, it's like double, triple glaze. Swap me. Hey, we talked about that last with our girlfriends. No, we didn't. <laughs> All right, here we All go. Right, here we go. Oh my god. Wow. Now I know why this place has so many followers. Obviously, their donuts look really good, but they also taste oh, fire. It's a croissant donut. Yeah. So it's not like the same flavor and like regular airiness donut. and like stuff. This is definitely like will fill you up a lot more, I feel like. Oh yeah, for sure. So now we're gonna go daring a little bit. I'm going sugar cookie, Jake's going King Kong, and let's see what these are all about. I think this one might be filled. Wow. So mine's filled with some kind of like vanilla cream inside, but it's actually really good because it all complements each other. It's like the same cream that you have on the top, but on the inside. And then you get the classic sugary taste. Yours not good? <laughs> oh, mine is. I don't think a bacon. <laughs> Use that to wash it down. Mm, that one's really good. It's not terrible. I think the bacon, the saltiness, and the meatiness kind of throws it off for me. So I think the original would have been a lot better without the bacon on top. But these are probably the most heaviest type of donuts I've ever had. But when you actually hold them, they're pretty lightweight. That's true. I, I already know. feel my stomach getting Fuller and fuller. Next What's one I'm rocking with right here is the chocolate sea salt. And as you can see, it's filled in the bottom. This looks like something I should not name. I still don't, what? <laughs> I kinda of wanna put my tongue in the, the box. So these ones are both gonna be filled. What do you got? The spiced honey cheesecake. Mine's not filled. Yours isn't? No. Are you sure? I'm, I'll let you know right now. Take a look. <laughs> looks like there's honey on top, cheesecake frosting. But it's spiced. Let's find out what that's all about. Oh, not filled. Oh, that one's good. Okay, I'm going chocolate. I'm not really a big chocolate type of guy, but I just figured we'd try something else for the audience. So here we go. Oh, wow. A layer of chocolate in there. So, if you're really into chocolate, this is the one for you. I'm not really into chocolate donuts. Or chocolate at all. Before we move on to that, that 100 year croissant, whatever it is. What's our favorite donut? What's our favorite? I think either that vanilla cream one that we had or vanilla the sprinkles. Vanilla cream for me. That's mm. the one I'll go back to. But because this is seasonal, I do really like the sugar cookie sprinkle one. Mm. Oh my God. The can I don't even know what kind of shape is that. 
It kind of looks, looks like a Batman logo. No, it looks like the bad guy from Stranger Things that comes out of the wall. I don't know, but this, look, as you can see on the inside, it's got something in, working on in the inside right there. She said this is made from leftover dough from the 800 layer donuts, so. Now there's 800 layers? I don't know, we're gonna split this one in half. Pull it apart. This is what the inside looks like. Oh, it literally just falls apart. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. It is a little bit salty, but still tasty. I had the inside layers. Yeah, me too. I don't like the crunchy part. You can definitely feel that it's leftover pieces because it's mm. definitely a lot thicker and a lot less enjoyable than the 100 layer deliciousness, but it's got great flavor to it to say the least. If I came in here and everything was sold out, I'd be okay with getting that. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Mm -mm. All right, you guys, so now I see why this place has 200,000 followers. Obviously, they're doing really good donuts. Overall, how I would rate it, super expensive when it comes to like six donuts. I just spent $50 on six donuts, but the taste is there, the flavor is there, the warmth of the people, it's a small business, so I'm glad to support it. Honestly, I'm gonna give it a rating of an... I'm gonna give it a solid 8.2. Delicious donuts, great people, small business, family owned, right here from Tennessee, so I gotta support it. All right, now let's see what we got for lunch, come on. It's lunchtime. Let's hope this spot brings some joy to my stomach because they have nearly 50,000 followers. Let's find out why, okay? I need to know. Is the food good? Come on. I want to point out something. It's freaking freezing here in Astro today. I think it's in its 40s. So I'm staying warm with this hoodie. BrennanTaylor.com. It's keeping me warmer than any other hoodie I've ever worn before. So pick one up right now. If you use code Brennan, you'll get a discount. Damn, would you guys let this guy cut your lawn? You need a cowboy to cut your lawn? Give him a call. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Crust burger. The original. That's, That's something we need to That's try. That's what it is right there. All right, let's see this menu. So look at this thing. Wow, what is that, a pancake burger? Sheesh, I think we need to get the number one, two, three, and four. Except for, no, not, not the number three. We don't need that. No, no, no. Just one, two, and four. Yeah. It's um, only my Monday and Friday. Sweet potato, Friday. pecan, ham pie. Back for a limited time, a joystick. They got a bunch of stuff. They got, I don't even know what to order here. I know I need to try this crust burger, but I'm not sure about the other stuff. Hey, how you doing? Um, I think we want to try, tell me if these are good options. We want one, two, and four. Four, the chicken sandwich is better than the crust burger? I mean, they're both amazing, but I didn't put the chicken sandwich. Okay, I think we're gonna get that. The fried chicken sandwich, we're gonna get the crust burger also. Okay. And then combo. we'll get one of them with combo. And, and then, then any of this stuff we gotta try? Yeah, is there anything oh, that's man. crazy? The joystick you got, that's definitely a staple. for you. Okay, we'll get the joystick as well. So is it worth us trying that deluxe burger as well? Oh yeah, I definitely Okay, let's get number one as well too then. Look at this, they even sell like grab and go items. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, so this place is definitely interesting. Like it's kind of almost giving me vibes of like fast food, but at the same time it has a restaurant, but at the same time it almost looks like it's a warehouse. And they sell soft serve ice cream. Yeah, I'm not sure what, it, what they have going on here, but clearly it's working because they have 50,000 followers. So let's see, maybe they're just nice looking items or maybe they taste good. We're gonna find out. Originated here in Tennessee. Yeah, then this is the original. Oh, this is the spot. Yeah, okay, the awesome. Camp. Awesome, thank you. No worries. All right, so this place originated here in Tennessee also so we're going to like small businesses today if you think about it but have big followers that's something I like to see well look at this you can eat on top and still play games with your homies and it's free Wow, I like that. That's fun. You guys saw the previews right in those photos let me tell you they didn't come out looking like they do like what the frick is this You know what, maybe it's delicious, I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, really interesting. First thoughts, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I they're kind of underwhelming. You know, like, I don't know why. I mean, you haven't tried them yet, but just off of the way they look, like, they wouldn't do very well on social media. So how did they gain that popularity? Yeah. Maybe because Tennesseans are real loyal to small businesses, or maybe the taste is out of this world. I guess we're gonna have to let you know. What if they just bought followers? That could also be the case. We're gonna let you guys know whether it yeah. is good or not. I so, will say right off the bat, these buns look buttery than how. The bu I mean, like the chicken sandwich this is the one he recommended, but they're so famous for this crust burger. Let's go. So let's try the crust burger and we'll work we our way down. The sauce. It does have this sauce. It looks like a like an aioli type sauce. Like, but this is the definition of a smash. Yeah, this is probably burger. the first smash burger I've seen out here. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna put a little bit of the sauce on here just because it's supposed to be. Whoa. I think I might, the flavor mm. is out of this world. It's like the best seasoned 
best mash burger I've ever had in mm -hmm. my life. I don't like that bun though. I don't like the bun, but damn. So that means this one's gonna be even better. I guess we'll just go at it, okay? It has real good flavor. Look at this. This is like the definition of a smashed burger it's, it's too. It's low the, key giving me In-N-Out vibes. Yeah, kind of. The and taste, seasoning. And touch the bun. It's giving me Shake Shack vibes for the bun. Yeah. Super soft. I'm gonna try it with ketchup this time because ketchup always makes my burgers better. So let me find out. Oh, that cheese drip. Oh my God, bro. Pickles only, pickles, onions I think only. We, I think this might be like our In-N-Out out here. That's a fire. Burger. Oh my god. Wow. Now maybe I know why they have 45,000 followers on Instagram. Like that's, if this is consistently as good as it is for everyone, that's fire. We had our burger spot out here, but I think this just stopped it. Yeah, this this is like taking it to a new level of burger. Like obviously it's more of like a fast food type burger, like uh, something that we like in it's California. Amazing. It's definitely got really good flavor, really good consistency to it. The bun is soft, the meat is crunchy and delicious. I can't complain about that. Crunchy fries. They good? Needs a little salt, but they're good. Mm, really nice crunch. So here, you try the chicken thing. I'm gonna try this chicken burger. This thing's pretty weird. Yeah, it almost looks like a rat on a stick. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go straight at it. Oh, almost went on your shirt. <gasps> oh. And this it is, is so hot. A, a special item. It's not always on the menu. It's just right now it is. The chicken is really juicy, but it's like a contraption. Is that there. a bone? Oh no, that's a chicken. It's I juicy chicken. It's pretty juicy, has a good crunch, very flaky. All right, I'm gonna try this chicken sandwich. It does have, it looks like on the bottom, a honey mustard or some kind of mustard down there, but on the top it has mayo. So let's try it. Oh God. Oh my God. The chicken's just crazy. So juicy, so tasty. It's not like a spicy chicken sandwich, it's, it's just like a classic chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. And that's really good. Oh my God. I think we found our new favorite spot. I still think the burger is better though. The burger is definitely better than the chicken sandwich, but the chicken sandwich is so different and it's like unique. It's not like a hot chicken sandwich, it's just like a no, classic, classic fried chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. Tasty for anybody who doesn't like spices. Really good, and then they also mix it up with giving you these curly fries. Perfectly fried so that they have a nice little crunch to each bite. This is something I come back to. Yeah. Going back to one though, I'm actually gonna go back to this one. And I'm stuck going back to this one. Chris. I like, see the flat one is really good. It's just, it's too flat. There's not enough going on for me. I need a little substance to my burger. That's a good one. Right now we're two for two. Let's hope we oh can continue God. to go to small businesses with big followers. Let's we'll see what we're gonna eat next. I'm not even sure, so let's get on out of here. Come on, let's go. All right, you guys, so that place was surprisingly delicious. I didn't think so much flavor could come out of a burger, and I think this might be one of my now normal spots that I'm gonna be coming to because the burgers were insane. I'm definitely gonna have to rate this place a solid 9.1. Like, wow, I am so surprised, and it being a small business, I can get behind it. So now, I don't know what's next, but we're gonna find out. Come on. It's dinner time and let's eat another small locally owned Tennessee business. This is 210 Jack with just under 20,000 followers. Let's see why they're so famous. Come on. Oh wow, this is like a cool little vibe in here so far. I like all the lively plants the, that says Wachuyo. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm gonna get a happy ending in this place. Whoa, let's chill out here. Family like friendly channel, like a massage okay? Parlor. That's the founder of it. Mrs. Kakutokaben, 85 years old, was working in her farm for many decades and says, it's like every day is a New Year's Day now. It's wonderful not to have to work as hard as I used to when I was young. Oh, that's Hopefully beautiful. one day we'll all get there. Yeah. A few minutes later. All right, you guys, so we just got seated in this restaurant. I have to say, just off the vibe of everything, it's a really pretty restaurant, and clearly it is the place to be for dinner time, okay? Because they are jam-packed, the waiting area. It took a long time for us to get a seat, but we finally got one. So let's check out this menu, and let's see what we're gonna order. So our appetizer got to the table. This is their peppers. Basically it has breadcrumbs and Caesar dressing on it. So I'm just gonna throw one of these things down and hope it's not too spicy. The thing about shishito peppers, they say one in seven are spicy. So those are your chances. Let's hope this is one of the six and let's try it. Mmm, really good flavoring. Not spicy, really nice. It's like a grilled pepper, so or, or grilled on the barbie or something. I don't know, but really tasty. Has no spice to it, at least the one that I had. The Caesar and the breadcrumbs are really tasty as well with it. It's a nice little appetizer, I won't lie. Jake, try it out. All right, I want a spicy one. Mm. 
I was hoping, I was waiting for the spice to come in. That is really good. The breadcrumbs are amazing. I think I put a little squeeze of lemon because the Mexican inside of me wants a little tang to my bang. These are good. I recommend them. The thing that's really interesting is you take a bite and the seeds that are inside of a pepper normally, which you are expecting to be hot, they just disperse in your mouth all over, almost like a gusher. And they gush up in there, but they're not hot. It's really interesting, really tasty. This is something I can behind. Watch out. Not hot. We're not doing spicy? good. Uh-uh. Oh Maybe God. none of them. Maybe they weeded out the spice. So we got the crispy rice. This one was on at the happy hour menu for $5, so it seems like a steal for me. Could be yesterday's though, so we'll find out. I don't know, but so far this restaurant has been pretty fresh. I like it so far. The real question is, do I throw this down in a one bite or I, do Let's I be- Let's take a bite of it like a gentleman. Oh. It's like a sweet ponzu sauce on it that they put on like eel. The crispy rice is fried on the outside, but soft and gooey and like fresh on the inside. For $5, I would throw down like five to eight of these and be cool. Your turn. All right, here we go. You can't do chopsticks, man. Sometimes you just need to use your fingers like a caveman. Oh, I like how it's warm. Oh, it's steaming. Oh my God. The rice inside is so sticky and yummy. And then the outside the tuna is cold. It's nice, it's sweet. This is a good one. Jake's right. Five to eight is an understatement. 10 to 12 for me. I'm eating off camera. <laughs> so what we have here next, this is actually only $8. So it's actually a pretty good price for here because this is Wagyu. So I'm interested in seeing what this actually tastes like here. Cause it, from the outside, it looks like it's rather cooked. And you know when it's Wagyu, you want it bloody, you want it delicious, rarely cooked that. And this kind of looks like a little bit overcooked when it comes to Wagyu, but. Grab a little bit of whatever else that is right there. That's a pepper. We're gonna yeah, kind of yeah. down, to, down them together cause that's how it's supposed to be done. Oh my. Wow. Come on, tell me, Ooh. tell me. That one's got a little spice to it, but it's got this like really buttery texture to it, just like Wagyu would. It's not as like top shelf Wagyu as like an A5 Wagyu, but as far as like butteriness goes to it, it definitely has that texture. It has this really nice glaze to it that it's like sour, a little bit of, it's like sour vinegary type of glaze, really tasty. This is something I can get behind. I think I need a couple more bites to really whoa, for whoa, sure whoa, my whoa, mind. Whoa, 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 pass it over here first. All right. Come on, my turn. I only make this face two times. When the food's good and the boom boom's good. This is good. I would say the pepper is not spicy, so I think you're a little wimp with it, but the glaze is amazing. It's almost like they never clean the grill and everything, all the flavors and the spice and the juices just coat that steak. This is good for $8, this is a deal. Jake, I'm feeling lucky tonight, so I'm gonna take the first bite of this sushi hand roll bowl. Okay. Whoa, That's whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. It only makes sense that you get the first bite because, I mean, I am the bathroom reviewer, so what goes in must come out, you know what I mean? Okay, I didn't want to hear that before I'm eating, but either way, either of these shirts that we're wearing, you can pick one up at Brennantella.com. Now let's do this. So this is very interesting. Never have I been to a restaurant where you make your own sushi roll, but this is really cool. So, so you get a little smashed french fry case here. You pull out your piece of seaweed. I think you're just like Indian. You just. Like, I don't know, I don't want it to break, but okay. Careful then, though. There's also these garnishes right yeah, here. Yeah, but careful, cause look at, there's a little wasabi on there, so I don't want that piece. So we're just gonna grab a piece of this sticky, and look at that, all that. Pretty good pull, it's pretty sticky. So, so I'm gonna throw a piece of this walu in here, which is Hawaiian butterfish. It's a white fish, not sure, it don't look like much. It just looks like fish. So I'm just gonna throw that on the top like that. I'm gonna grab a cucumber stick. I'm gonna throw that in there as well. This is probably the poorest excuse for a sushi roll that has ever been rolled, but here we are. Now we're gonna dip it into this, what I'm hoping is soy sauce. Oh, I lost my whole thing in there. Well, that's gonna be real salty. Perfect. Throw it on there, we're gonna one bite this thing. Oh my God. Wow. Like butter? Listen, you know how I slammed the fish on top? That thing swam down my throat. Slip and slide. That is some good fish right there. Even down the soy sauce, it's like a different type of soy sauce. It's a little bit sweeter. Really good flavoring all around. The sushi is surprisingly pretty fresh for being here in Tennessee. We're in the middle. There's no oceans. How is it so fresh? I do not know, but damn. That's something I can get behind. Do it yourself, sushi rolls. It's fun. The one question I have was, was that soy sauce? I don't know. It was sweet, but okay. it was good. Pass it over, pass it over, pass it over. Pass what over? My sushi roll. 
Yeah, how's that working out for you? I'm about to use my damn hands. No, you ain't. I think the, the rolls itself would have been a better decision, but yeah. they don't make those. You know what I think would be a good decision is if they brought out this seaweed already laid with the rice and then let us put the rest of it together. But just do us a little solid here. I guarantee that their sushi chef quit, so this is what they have to do. <laughs> All right, what are you rocking? Octopus. All because right. if it has eight legs, I'm into it. All righty. Mouth. That's a big mouth, boy. Chewy. Listen, guys, if you've never had octopus, you gotta chew them legs. For every leg that it has, you gotta add two chews to each. Maybe more, maybe 10 too. 10 chews. So going. Come back. We'll cut back after this brief message. Octopus is usually good. I think I should have bit it in half because that was a lot to, to endure, but tastes really good. I like that soy sauce. I don't know what it is. They definitely put some like brown sugar or something in there. It's good. I'd rather them make it for me, but it's a cool experience. So ultimately this place is a ramen spot, okay? This is what their, their main dishes are ramen. So we got some ramen in front of us and let me tell you, it looks pretty good. I feel like there's like a giant pork chop in here. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna read you guys exactly what is in here because I, I swear this is like Japanese or something. Creamy pork broth, chasu, chiyotare, menma, kikuraj, mayu, soft egg. All I know is that's in here is pork broth and soft egg. Just looking at it though, using my own sixth sense here, this looks like a giant piece of pork. Yeah, that looks like pork to me. This side is seared, but hey, maybe it's really delicious, so not they gave good. us two bowls, all they know we were sharing. They knew oh. we were sharing, see? I like people that think about it. They oh, also gave us two spoons. That's so nice of them. Real nice of them. This is what you get? What's your bowl? This is what I get. Here we go. I'm gonna get a little bit of noodle. Oh God, this might be difficult. It's hot. Maybe we should right, wait a second. Pause, yeah. Let's pause. One hour later. Here we go. It's time. So I'm gonna just throw some of this down and try some of this broth. Let me hear that ASMR. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Oh. <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> Spicy. Spicy. Oh, that like tender. Wow. Man, listen. The usual ramen I go for are a cup of noodles. And let me just tell you, this is on cup of noodles. This is fire. Although I wish it would have been more in an English menu because I would have known if it was like pork or like beef or like something else. And I would have probably gone for something else because I feel like pork, it doesn't really have much flavor. And it's like the driest it's of It's dry, meat. but all, but the noodles itself, really tasty. These other things that are in here, I think they might be onions. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, this whole bowl combined, pretty fire. And now I can see why this place is so popular as a ramen spot. Definitely delicious. I can see how they gained their 20,000 followers. Keep it up and maybe this time next year, I'll have 40,000, 50, 100. So make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to get there too, at Brennan. A big part of ramen is that egg. And I saw it swimming around so in there. So you're digging for it. I think it's over there to the back. I don't know, why, why'd you hide it? You broke it up? Yeah, I wanted to get a little flavor added in. Damn, you messed that up. Just Dang. try it, damn it. Cut my take, man. Cut my take. Oh my God. Yeah, drip it back from your dirty ass mouth back into the bowl. Mm. It's like a creamy, creamy broth. That ha whatever that mayo is, probably mayo, gives it like a creamy texture. The noodles cooked fabulous. I didn't try the pork because I'm trying to stay away from it, even though it's pork broth. Don't tell my mom. Really good. I approve. All right, so there you have it. Let's see what this is going to cost us. And after seeing that drip come from Jake's lip back into this ramen, I don't think I'm going to be having any more. Small plates definitely add up. Let's get this paid and get out of here. We got one more spot on the way. We do? Yeah, we do. Oh. Dessert. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys. Like I promised, dessert time. It is 34 degrees right now, but we're about to have some ice cream because this spot has 450,000 followers. Why? For ice cream, I do not know, but we're about to find out. Come on. One good thing is they have the heater on in here because it's freezing. So maybe we should sit for five to 10 to warm up. Yeah. So then it makes a little bit more sense. I don't know. I can't get any more of a brain freeze than I already have. But listen, the only thing that is keeping me warm right now is this hoodie. So pick one up, Brennan Taylor. Uh, I need to go get one tonight. Yeah, you do. Oh, we got a lot. This is like 31 flavors. The first five over here are different and then they start to repeat after you finish it. God, oh, so tricking okay. us, tricking us. Oh, we are? Okay, cool. Think maybe we just do samples. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, um, 
I would like to try this Buckeye Frenzy. Oh, my girlfriend always tells me I'm, I'm as wild as a buck. So that's why I tried that <laughs> one. Mm, that's really good. It's got little like crunches in there. What is that? Oh, I like that. Okay. Let me see what else real quick. What's your most famous flavor? Gooey butter cake? Yeah. Okay. Let me try that one real quick. We're gonna get out of here without Jeffy's buying nothing. <laughs> the spoon's even good. Usually you can go through your own flavors are plastic. It's metal. <laughs> Let's go with that fucking there. Oh, I'm lactose intolerant. I'm already going to hell. That's fire. We have dairy free options too. No, it's no, too no, late no, now. No, no. <laughs> we're already we're already digging our hole. So okay, I think I'm gonna go. I'll go with that gooey butter cake. Do you want one over here? Uh, our standard is up to two flavors. Oh, so my you goodness. can get gooey butter and buckeye if you wanted. Or okay, let me see real quick. Okay. Or just have her surprise you with one that she thinks you'll like. Yeah, let's, let's do that. See. And you surprise me with your favorite. Okay. Do you <laughs> a waffle cone, waffle bowl? Oh, let's waffle do a waffle bowl. bowl. Yeah, that's yeah, different. Yeah. I like a spot that doesn't differ. Now we get to see what her favorite is. Yeah, let's yeah, see. yeah, we're testing her. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. She already knows, she doesn't have to think. Is that pineapple upside down cake? No, it's the boozy eggnog. The boozy oh, eggnog, okay. I like that. So okay. whoever Jenny is, good job. Good job, this is really cool and really unique. Look at this, a waffle bowl. I can get behind something that's different. Two bros, one bowl. Let's try whoa, it. Whoa, that was, there was a video of two girls, one cup. Now it's two boys, one cup. Well there. Okay, don't Google that. All right. Google. All right, let's start with the one we I tried because this is a good in. This is the classic viral flavor. Oh, smart digging. Mmm. It's got that thick caramel taste to it. Really tasty. It's buttery smooth. It's not like no ice cream from the freezer from your local market that has like the frostbite on it. This is good stuff. Yeah. And now I know why she has 450,000. So let's try this yeah. next one. This is her her choice, boozy eggnog. And she says there's a six of alcohol actually in this, so. Well, they could make it in six gallons, so there's really no, <laughs> well, There's like nothing, nothing in there, but. Oh. Some may like that. I'm not a huge eggnog guy. Mm. It's got interesting flavor. I think yours was the better choice. Though. Mine was definitely the better choice. She said it's cream cheese base, so it's like a thick ice uh -huh. cream, but it's still buttery and delicious. Listen, I like it. We've had a lot of sweets today, but I can tell you, this is some good stuff. Mm. And being in here eating ice cream, you wouldn't even know it's 34 degrees outside right now. I really hope I press recorded though. Yeah, me too. All right, you guys, so there we have it. We ate at the most followed restaurants for 24 hours. And let me tell you, there's a reason these restaurants have so many followers. They're damn good, okay? I can't front with that. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Pick up some merch brand at taylor.com. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous. Praying that I'll stop this.